Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Ah, uh, you know where I'm at. I'm back at the Numbrum Cave, and I brought a friend. Uh, this is Trey Smith, uh, uh, Don A and I's friend. Uh, uh, some of you may know Trey from uh, his YouTube channel, God in a Nutshell. Uh, if you're ever interested in learning about uh, um, Nimrod, biblical and, topics, uh, biblical topics and stuff, Trey uh, has some amazing videos. Uh, but I'm going to take them to the woods to see the Numbrum Cave. So this is Petro. This is Trey this going is, to Numbrum Cave. This is one, it's one of the first residents, right, John? Yeah, this is the first resident of Nashville, uh, um, Timothy the Numbrum. Uh, he lived in this cave here for like 20 years. Uh, pretty interesting guy. Fur trapper, trapping uh, uh, animals, taking their furs, hid them in this cave. Uh, and you'll see it's perfect for hiding, for hiding uh, uh, furs. Have you ever been in the cave before? Not like, well, let's look at it. This okay. is, uh, so here we go. Yeah, this is, so is it man made? So, so this one's, this is a natural cave. And natural cave, it. yes. Uh, uh, the, the state of Tennessee put steps to it, but that's about it. So, I, actually, downtown Nashville is just a little ways from where we are walking right now. So, it, it looks like you're in the woods and you're in the middle of the forest. And this is kind of an industrial area. After you, good sir. We've been going through. Uh, I've never been through here. This is something non but it's about the area. It's part of the foundation of the state, of the entire state. Uh, let's go this way. Okay, it has really grown up just since. A few weeks ago when I was here with Hector, and you can tell that uh, nobody's been through here. And here's the steps that I said they made. Oh yeah, okay. Steps okay. here. Uh, apparently this area, this is what John has been explaining to me. He's been learning a lot about the founding fathers, and a lot of that comes from here in Nashville, including the homestead of Andrew Jackson. But these steps you see here, so the area we just walked through, where you park the truck or the car or whatever, just askew, Nashville, downtown Nashville would be right over there. So these steps that were added, I don't know how long ago. In the 30s. And yeah, that, yeah. So, so, but prior to that, where we're about to go, this cave is one of the first residents or the first resident of the state of Tennessee. And is the is the river named after him, John? No, no, no. This okay. is the this is the Cumberland River, um, which I don't know why it's named the Cumberland, but okay. let's uh, make our way in the world today. Making our way in the world today. Look at this. Oh, okay. Look the at Numberum Cave. Numberum. Okay. The Numberum. You are now trade to number them once you go through. We're going okay. through a time warp. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Right. Now, the good thing is it doesn't look too wet. I've gone through here. I came up here and it was just straight rain. I mean, just straight water. Uh, but here's, so this, so this cave, this is the, the first resident of, um, of Tennessee. Of the whole this state? This stuff out. The... He's been hunting out the, the foundations of the, the whole state of Tennessee, but really the foundations of America. This is where the climax of many of the Civil War events happened. And the first resident of this state, this is where he lived and kept his hides and everything, is in this tunnel that I'm walking in right now with water that's leaking from the ceiling. Who knows if there's anything in here to bite us, but we're going to find out together. And, um, Wow, that light works. You gotta go to the left over there. There used to be a cage. Okay, what is this? It used to be a, a to stop you from going through. Okay, well, let's see here. Let's turn the light back on. Sorry about that. Our light went out. Okay. So, and this is actually a safe, John? Yeah. Okay. Well, I don't believe you, right? <laughs> no, that's the same. You know what this reminds me of? When we were in uh, Israel. Uh, climbing through the, the bunker. Well, and you went further through it, John, than I did, because I, I don't know why you did it. More here, I guess, but, but I actually got more because that bunker went deep. Yeah, it did. And I began to wonder. 
Man, it's like completely dark in here when you turn that light on. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's pretty dark. Okay, it's not. <coughs> You're like, John, you got me in a cave, man. Hold on, this light is not Oh, then I lied because of my battery. We're in trouble. Yeah, we're going to be trouble in this game. Um, all right. We've got a light. Your light keeps turning yeah, on. Yeah, the light is literally dying. But, but you, Do you see the light at the end of the tunnel? Yeah, here you go. Uh, John, are you making it? Yeah, I got it. All right, this is the... Yeah, we're coming to the end. So this is where the founder... For the first resident of Tennessee, we need to go right back on a light that's done. This is where the first resident of Tennessee, and he would come out, and uh, here's where he would load up to, to get back and forth. And that really is something. Look at that. So, we used to have a cage here. That's stunning, actually. Now, if you look to the left, what river is there's that? Nashville, right that way. Okay, so there's, okay, let's peek over. Oh, wow, isn't that something? So this is the Cumberland River here. Okay, we have now made Trey Smith. He is now Trey Denumbrum. He has made it through the threshold of the Numbrum Cave, and he is Trey Denumbrum. Uh, and that's the Numbrum Cave once again. Now we're going to take Trey to... Andrew Jackson's. Well, that's because, so he's stating that because that's where, so the first resident, that's where he sat. So, and that, well, that's what, that's what John feels. He, you know, well, it would be true. So right here on this ledge, he would fish and he would, so and this is where John was sitting on his natural little chair. He probably did actually sit there. And this would have been one of the first or the first resident, other than the Indians, of, um, of Tennessee. I wonder if Andrew Jackson ever visited this spot. Well, he might have. But it's kind of a, so so he had to hunt this out, this, uh, well, I guess I'll use it in a minute. He, so John had to hunt this spot out to find uh, where this cave was, which is just, so the whole area is filled with history and of, of a lot of the founding of the nation. And this is where one of, one of literally your founders of the area of Tennessee, where he sat, where he put the, uh, where, where he put the, the, the hides and other things he would hunt. See, it's naturally cool. So if we were stand, so if you were standing right here, you've got a natural wind. You can feel. Cool. You can feel yeah. the cool coming, coming out of here. It. Yeah. And you know why Tennessee is so important? You had a, a, of American history and our founding fathers. Three presidents were residents of Tennessee. Seven eleven and seventeen. You've heard me say it before. Andrew Jackson, James Polk, and Andrew Johnson. Uh, responsible Timothy the number in this cave and chilling here the first person of Tennessee the first person of, of Nashville uh, those three presidents can thank Timothy the number from finding this cave and realizing that this land was very fruitful they, 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 so the army John came to him and asked about the how to sort of map the area uh -huh. oh yeah and they and they started Fort Nashboro right over there Based and he would go back and forth back and forth and that's finally when he brought his family down and right. moved out of the cave because there was other people over there. Right, right. But now we go back in time through the number one cave. Okay, I can just, uh, um, uh, look at that. Let's see, this is a very thin, yeah, th this thing is really kind of a tight fit. fit. So, I'm right here if you can see me. Here's the, here's what it looks like on the road ahead. So it's, it's, uh, it's really, really dark. And see, once you get around the corner here, it gets completely dark. So you're actually kind of lucky that there is there actually isn't that much water here. Okay, so here's the lower area. Now look at the shelving around. Look at all of this. Yeah. Now when you look to your left here, now you can see how that goes back there like that. Yeah. That you can keep pelts, meat, uh, all kinds of things on, on multiple levels. Yeah. Pretty interesting. Yeah, it's interesting that those kind of both in. Yeah, I don't think Julie would have done this. No, she wouldn't. She wouldn't have said I'm 
where it went, oh, this was a game they put in. Yeah, yeah. That's what that is. That's a game they put in. To stop people. But uh, I'm glad you See, here's another area. See, now that's like a great area right there. Yeah. Just to stash your pelts. Yeah, you can feel, so it's, so it's at least 20 or 30 degrees cooler in here than when you walk outside. And there's a, there's a draft that runs here. So, and that's actually common, common practice for doing the jack and jack to keep it food back in that time. Or anything that you're trying to keep food. Nobody knows this is here. And we emerge. Uh, Here's Trey. Made it. Got bit by mosquitoes. All right. Off to Andrew Jackson's.